phrase, yeah, I'm going to be sharing a message with you called Clean Your Lens. And I will be reading and referencing the King James Version of the Bible. Again, praise Yah. So we all like to take pictures. And before I take a picture or video, I can hear my husband's voice always saying, clean your lens. I used to have a problem with that all the time, cleaning my lens. But cleaning your lens allows the pictures before you to become sharper, more clear, and all the details can be unmistakably seen. Both the darkness and the light is revealed. Oftentimes we're overtaken by things that have been said or done to us. Being overtaken can truly equate to having a dirty lens. Poor image and perspective of the situation is usually what happens. Instead of sitting with what was said and actually gauging who where or what it came from, we let it ruin our day or worse. We let it take root in our lives, causing us to forget who and whose we are. But the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Whenever things come to make you forget who you are, it is important to remember that by way of the blood of Yahusha, repentance renews you every day. Satan has infiltrated the lives of many, and unfortunately, a great number of people will continue to be used by the dark workings to attempt to kill off what Yah has called you to be. The word says in John 10:10. The thief comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. How can you experience life abundantly if you continue to allow darkness to rule over the light that was put inside of you to shine for Yah's glory? Your thoughts are a motivator for the positive or negative fruit in your life. That is why you have to, you must take control over the thoughts as they come into your mind. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yah and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahushua. We must quickly decide to view things not as the world does, but as our Heavenly Father has allowed us to properly see them and put them in their true place and true perspective. Weapons will always form. They do not have to be allowed to prosper. That's on you. But trusting in Yahuwah instead of your own understanding makes all the difference. Let's go back to the word where it says in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trusting in Yah with all thine heart and leaning not into thine own understanding in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. The word again in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yah and their righteousness is of me, said Yahuwah. So clean your lens. How you see things definitely does matter. Again, praise Yah for the word. And I thank you for listening.